Hello everybody on YouTube, I am Jedi Fight Bad and I'm here with number 21, episode 21, yeah, 21, holy crap, we're, we're getting up there pretty well. Um, so today we're going to automate this whole system over here, hopefully we'll get it done um, in this one episode, um, and it won't be too long, if it is I can always split it, but we're going to try and get it done. So real quickly, I've already made some filters I think that's gonna be enough filters I'm not completely sure though uh, I've made some redstone tube and some normal pneumatic tube um, I think that should be enough I've made some white wool jacketed wire so hopefully that's enough I have my timer um, so what I need right now is I need to make a automatic crafting bench mark 2 so that's what we're gonna work on right now um, so we need four. Okay, so we got our four gears and we need a crafting bench. Now this will make the Mach 1, the normal automatic crafting table, but we can't use that one because of the way that um, it's, it's designed. It won't work with this. So we need to make a Mark 2. Um, now there's two ways to make this and I'm really not sure if it matters which way you make it so because um, there's not two different types there's only one type so I think it doesn't matter so there there you go that's the automatic crafting bench mark 2 and that's what you need to use because it has a chest in it so you can store stuff um, we'll come back later and, and make the rest of the stuff that we need um, alright oh I, I forgot I forgot to sleep beforehand so uh, now that we've made that, I'm going to go to bed real quick, and I'll be back as soon as I'm ready to start building. Alright guys, so I'm out here by the automatic, or by the uh, coke ovens and the blast furnaces, so I'm ready to start building. Um, so, well, we're just going to jump right into this. So, um, as you've probably already seen uh, my video, hopefully you've seen it, my video for the... Um, for this whole system so you already know pretty much what I'm going to do but I'm, I'm going to try and make it a little more um, uh, what's the what's the good word for it uh, um, neater I guess it's, oops one, one too far I'm going to make it a little neater uh, so it looks a little nicer hopefully hopefully it won't be too bad um, I forgot to bring my paint brushes but I can do all the painting and stuff uh, later, so that's not a big deal. Okay, let's see here. All right, so that's set up. So that's going to deposit the coal into the uh, coke ovens. Uh, next, we need to draw out the. Oops, we need to draw out the. Uh, what is it? Uh, this brings the oh, this brings the buckets of kerosene oil out, um, and I'm gonna put the crafting bench probably over here. Um, all right, so this I'm I'm gonna wire I think up with the redstone too, at least from across here, uh, because. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and power this all from one timer. All the things from one timer. So hopefully we can do that. Uh, so we got those. That's powered now. Um, let's bring it down here and into the top. Should go into the side. No, it has to go into the side, so we're going to put it here. Um, actually, we're going to put it here. Uh, okay, that'll work perfectly, actually. Because we need to put a filter on the top to take out the... Uh, to take... Oh, that's connected. I'll have to fix that. Uh, to take out the uh, 
the wooden ties that's right it makes wooden ties here so that'll take the wooden ties out um, and I can just put a piece of wire there so I don't need so this um, that's just gonna go there for now because I don't need it to go anywhere right now all right Oop. Okay, so then this will take the buckets back out. So let me put just like uh, two pieces of two. Actually, I don't need that. Yep, okay, so we can do it like. Like. I'll have to block that part off, but I can do it like that, and I can do it like that. Um, temporarily. Oops. We'll use this temporarily until we can. Oops, I dropped that. Can I get it? Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll just block that so that it doesn't shove stuff into there. Okay, so that's bringing the wooden ties out, so we don't need to worry about that right now. It's this we need to worry about. And this is putting the buckets back into the uh oop, I think I went one too far. This puts the buckets back into all of the um uh coke ovens when they're ready to uh, be used. Alright, so that's pretty much done. Um uh the only thing I'm going to change, I think, Oops. Uh, is this one and this one. Oops. And I'm going to make those the red stones so that I can wire those up together. Awesome. So now all of those can be triggered from a single, um, from a single redstone current. All right, so next we need to take the we need to take the uh, coal coke out of the uh, out of these. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we need to take the. Um, which I'll fix this too, don't, so don't worry about it. So that'll take the coal coke out and put it into the blast furnaces. Oops. Of course, now I'm going to need more more uh, tubing because I don't have enough so I'll be right back with another stack of this tube alright guys so I'm back and I got another stack of uh, this stuff so I'm ready to keep going so um, I also I had this already but oops I decided I'm gonna use this stuff since it's pretty close in comparison to these blast furnaces I'm going to just stick this on the outside because it looks pretty good I mean it's pretty similar to what it is so you can't really tell that much it would probably be better if it was normal basalt versus the cobblestone but oh well I'm not, I'm not too picky alright so there's that so that's all I have to do now is rig up a way to power uh, these um, which I've also thought about this I replaced this but I think the way it's touching that it, it can't put anything in and it'll free this up so I can use this or something else um, Still need to get my paintbrushes though, I still haven't done that yet. Oh yeah, by the way, I think I'm going to put the timer here. So I might as well just go ahead 
Actually, I don't think I need that. You can put this here, just like that. Let me uh, just change that and um, hmm, I don't have a. I'm gonna go get a lever, and we also need probably some more of these. So I'm gonna make some more real quick. So I'll show you how to make those. You should already know how to make a lever, hopefully. And plus, it's getting dark out, so I'm gonna sleep here in a second too. Um, so we need a piece of cobblestone, a piece of wool. Um, I'm gonna get a, a piece of wood. Do I have any normal? Yeah. No. Uh, there it is. All right. So you can put four of these cables in here with a power source and it'll turn it back into a single bar so while it's doing that let's uh... you need you can have anything uh... anything at all i just choose the white because it looks nice um, but you can use anything at all that you want but you need covers and you need eight of them and you just surround one of these bars these red alloy ingots and you get four of them so that should be enough hopefully uh, to do the rest, uh, I need a stick, like this for a lever, and let's. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed, and then I'll be back over there. Right. All right, so I'm back over here. Uh, I got the lever, so I can turn this off and set it back down to two seconds, so it's ready. Um, what was I going to do? Right. Uh, oh yes, I was going to hook these up um, so that they work. Um, let's see, how can I do this? I guess I could change all of this into normal redstone. Oh, those are going already. Wow. Oh. Okay. That's fine. I can change all these back into the redstone tube, I guess, and then just connect it down. That was like six of those, which got enough good. Um, now these take forever. It takes two pieces of coal coke or four pieces of normal coal or charcoal in order to cook up the iron. So I'm put a stack of iron in here and it takes six minutes to make two pieces of coal coke. Um, so if I put a stack of 64 in here, that's going to take two stacks of coal coke at three minutes a piece. That's, what is that, 128 times three. So that's uh, 300 and 374, 74, 84, something like that. Divide that by you know 60, and that's easily uh, six hours in order to do a stack of 64 iron into steel. So I don't have to really worry about that too much. Another thing that I was thinking about, I don't think I'm really going to need to worry too much about the uh, coloring either. Um, because but I won't have to worry about the coloring, sorry I was thinking there for a second. I won't have to worry about the coloring I don't think because each thing only does you know one thing I mean I don't know I might I might color stuff just so it works a little nicer but anyway let's uh, turn all of this oh I'm not gonna have enough I don't think I'm gonna need more oh, oh crap no I need more redstone I think to yeah I'm gonna need more redstone I can already tell Maybe. Maybe I won't, actually. Maybe I won't. Let's just see here. Oh, yeah, I think I think I'll have plenty, actually. Can I grab? There we go. Uh, actually, let's... Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I am going to go get 
paint brushes and I need a chest to put up on that and I need some wooden half slabs and uh oh three buckets I need three buckets that's the other thing I need um so you got a chest um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The reason I'm using ten is because I don't, I don't know. I just uh, buckets look more tin than they do iron, really. So why not use ten? So we got the chest, um, paint brushes. That's the other thing. So we're gonna use um, black and blue. I don't know if I need two different colors, but just in case I do, I'll bring a second paintbrush. Um, okay, so let's fly on over here. And then, uh, before we do too much, we need to hook... Oops. Oh, I don't have my... Took my ring out of my, uh... Okay, so... Blink. 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 Bunk bunk. All right, sweet. So now we've got this whole setup, I think, completely automated. Let's put the chest up here. Oh, I didn't make any wooden things. It's okay. Let's stick the buckets in. These actually will already make some curious oil, so we'll be able to test that very, very soon to see if it's uh, working correctly. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 that's right. I'm gonna need more buckets, I think, actually. Yeah, because I need to make sure that this only pulls out creates oil. So I'm gonna need three more buckets, but I gotta go back anyway to make some, uh... Uh, let's make some other stuff. Um, like that, what, what should we call it? The wooden slabs, that's right. Um, yeah, so, but real quick, let's, let's paint this up. Alright, so this is only going to pull out coal. That's all I want it to pull out, and it's going to send it to blue. Right, and last, blue, okay. Uh, then this is gonna only send out to blue as well. Blue. Blue, okay. Uh, this is only gonna send out to blue. Oop, stuck. There we go. So let's set these coal coke going to blue. Now these you wanna make sure that you do do it this do make sure that you do it this way um, otherwise this can suck out because out of the sides it can take out either creosote oil or coal coke so you want to make sure that you make a distinction of which one's pulling out which um, so i need to make four buckets because i have to make a bucket for this as well um so it only pulls that out i need to make oh yep yeah, see like right there i've already got Stuff, uh, stuff that where did that come from? Where did that come from? Oh my goodness, that just this is all a bucket, okay. Anyway, but so that puts that into there. I just like coloring stuff, looks a little more fun. Uh, that'll send to blue. It's only buckets that it will send. Alright, so we need some wooden half slabs. Four more buckets. Uh, and I. Th and oh, yeah, three stacks of iron. So, let's see. We're gonna make as many of these uh, half slabs as we can. Hopefully. Oops. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Blunk, blunk, blunk. 
half slabs. Yep, and we'll just fill that all. Uh, I don't have any more room. Just fill it all up. Cool. And I'm sure we'll make some more of these too. So we might as well. Uh, we'll put that in there as well, and use the rest of that. Okay, cool. Um, then what else did I say I needed? I need four more buckets and three stacks of iron, so we don't have enough stacks of iron yet. Um, which is fine, but... Um... Let's see here, let's put gunpowder away and get out 12 bars. I'm gonna make four buckets, which is all we need. Uh, we're going to need to clear up some space. Let's take that, that, and that. Let's dump that out too. Okay, so we got our four buckets. Uh, oops. Stick that in there, and that in there, and that in there. And that. There we go. Alright, so hopefully this episode isn't going too long. Um, but now, uh, once I put these buckets in here, uh, I believe that we can turn it all on and it'll get going and perform it all automatically for us. So we don't ever have to worry about um, putting more stuff in, taking stuff out. Alright, so one, two, three, just like that. And boom. That'll make us wooden ties and it'll give us the bucket back, which it's already done. Um, which is great. Uh, the reason it's doing that is because it's already got coal in there. So let's watch this go and I see it'll pull these down. Let's take it down into that crafting bench. The crafting bench. Oh, it's pushing it into there. Damn it. That's what I was afraid of. We gotta. We do need to block that off. Okay. that in there. Good, that's sucking that out. That's putting the buckets back in, so we just need to fix that little piece. So before it gets too dark, let's fly back over here. Fix that, and... Uh, where's, where did I put those? I just wanted... Nope, wrong thing. Yep, right there. I just need one. Oops. All right, sweet. So let's get over here, seal this up. Um, where's it? There it is. Sealed. So now they'll only go down into here, uh, which is perfect. Let's not get bombarded by a creeper or something. All right, so um. Soon enough, where's that bucket at? I wonder. Where's that bucket at? Oh, I wonder if it's underneath or something. There's something around me, and I'm afraid that I'm going to. There they are. Alright, so let's stick these buckets back into there. Let's cut that. I feel like I'm getting extra buckets from somewhere. I feel like there's an extra bucket in this whole thing. Wait, that's got a bucket. That's got a bucket. That's... It does not have a bucket. That one does not. Okay, so... Yeah, let's... Let's go in there. Should create it. Oh no, see there's two buckets now. I don't know what's going on. But now there's a bucket in there, now there's another bucket in there. I don't care how many buckets there are, as long as it's doing the right Oh, I think I know what I did. When you put a bucket in here it doesn't actually use it. it yeah, that's I think that's what I did. Awesome, so and then the coke. Uh, so I have to go to the bottom. 
uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back, and I figured it out. Um, you have to put it into the bottom, the coal coke into the bottom of these blast furnaces. Oh, there's some coming. There's a few things coming actually. Um, but yeah, you have to put it into the bottom. Just figured that out. Uh, which is cool. No, not a big deal. I mean, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't obstruct the uh, the whole walkway, but it's cool. Um, I might decide to uh... ah no. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I I might. I don't know. I might do something. I might move it back one, like all these. Just might shift them back one. I don't know. Still deciding. I might just keep it too. It's not a big deal. Um, I might just take out the one side of gravel and put dirt back in. But yeah. So this is my automatic uh, thing that I did. Obviously, I haven't um, done anything to pull the steel out or to put iron ingots back in. But you know what? I, I don't really care that much. I mean, um, I know how to put iron in now. You have to put it in the top. And I'm guessing you can just take the uh, steel right out of the side. So I might automate that. But um, if I do if I do that, I'll probably make um, another EMC farm close by that will create just uh, mm -hmm. iron. Um, so in just this little bit of time, I've already got 15 wooden ties. So it's not too bad. Um, only had to use a few buckets, completely automatic. So yep, thank you for watching this uh, video for the um, on my Technic series number uh, 21, episode 21. We're doing pretty well, uh, getting along. Um, uh, if you if you can, uh, please like, um, favorite, subscribe, uh, all that stuff. If you've noticed in here, I, I, I decided I'll show you this. I moved the quarry over. A little bit I had to do a little patching it kind of broke through right there but I patched it up as you see I uh, I changed a lot of the uh, or I took out all of the ugly orange frame um, so I'll keep doing that and I'm thinking this might be a great place to put like a nuclear chamber maybe like in down in one of these holes or something I think that'd be pretty sweet um, another idea that I might have um, is to move my base uh, completely underground um, maybe dig out this way a little bit um, or out this way a little bit I'm not sure but just to go completely underground uh, move all of my stuff underground do all that stuff just just bury myself um, thinking that ooh, crap I think that might be a pretty good idea that I'm um, I'm thinking about doing but obviously that'll be in a later later thing and I'll, I'll probably keep this stuff up here just for show but uh have everything underground kind of like a secret base or something I don't know so I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do um, some of you may be wondering what this is uh, when I need some resources and like uh, when I was testing to see if the uh, the uh, bone meal thing was working when I was testing to see if this was working properly and uh, my sorting system was working and stuff and I didn't want to just you know oops, didn't want to just stand around you know on the ground because I was afraid during the night I might get killed or anything and I didn't want to be around there because if I was inside of that ogres might come like they have many times already and just blow a bunch of crap up and I'd lose it all so I built myself a little thing up here normally I would use scaffolding to get up here and then uh, I just block myself in, just block myself in, just put two wood there, you know, and I just sit in here, and then I can leave the computer, and it, everything works fine, um, and, and keeps me logged in and things going, because obviously I can't use a world anchor, because there's no need for it, really. You know, world anchor really is only good for, like, on... Like if you are off, have something off in the distance that needs to stay loaded, or if you're on a server, like... Um, how uh, um, Dave Chaos and, and Gar and all them do, they put world anchors up so they keep their uh, um, 
energy collectors go in, and that's how they make so much stuff. Because really, I mean, um, I could put it up an energy collector if I wanted a Mach 3 energy collector making diamonds or whatever, but it would only make diamonds when I'm on here. Um, so yeah, but uh, thank you for watching. I've talked enough. I've I've shown you how to do this. I hope it helps. Um, later I might automate the whole last furnace part too. I'm not sure. But uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, dislike if you want. That's why the system's there. You know, that's why they, they put it on here. Um, uh, favorite the video. Share the video. Tell your friends about me if you can. Um, let them know that I'm doing this series and, and uh, I want to help people play their own version of Tech It and stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.